Hey my friends, welcome back to the Facebook Apps Ninja video tutorial and within this video tutorial we're going to be talking about on how to create a quiz application. Now I highly recommend that you pay close attention to this particular video tutorial because the quiz application is a very different process compared to the previous applications that we spoke about. But no worries, just know that you can watch this video tutorial as many times as you need as you have access to it in the tutorial dashboard. And as always, I'll be demonstrating to you how the application is going to look within your Facebook account. So in saying that, let's rush over to my Facebook account and give you a quick sneak on how the application is going to look within your Facebook account. So here we are in my Facebook account and I'm going to my app section area over here and I'm going to click on Do You Know Rihanna? which is the application I recreated for the purpose of this tutorial video and this is how the quiz application is going to look more or less depending on how you create it so you have your banner ad you have your background and then you have the quizzes here that each of your potential customers are going to answer and as they complete the answering process of course the application will redirect them to a different page more about that later so in saying that let's go back to the software so I can demonstrate how to create the quiz application okay my friends we are back at the workspace and what you want to do is you want to click on the second tab where it says add apps Then you want to come down to number eight where it says create Facebook quiz app and you want to click on that Then you want to click on add new Facebook quiz you want to click on that and then it brings you to this page and as always you start with creating your title and again you want to make sure your title is unique a title that's relevant to the Facebook quiz now I'm just gonna go ahead and type in test for the sake of this video tutorial then we move on to the second component which is campaign image which is 75 by 75 but no worries whatever image you upload just know that the software will automatically resize the image for you now for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna upload an image for myself and we also decided to add a new feature here which is small image which is 16 by 16 now just know that this one is not mandatory but we decided to put this here for you just in case as an extra resource for yourself once all this is filled out to your likings what you'll do next is click on submit once you click on submit the software will go ahead and create a URL for you and will also create an app ID and or an app directory which this one is app number four when this is done the next step you take is that you click on update because you want to update the software with the new information that you just created when you click update give it a few seconds to render and when that's done rendering then you want to click on this tab here which says install app when you click on that a drop down menu will appear and as always by now I'm sure you are very familiar with this drop down menu so we'll start with category click on this button here and the menu will drop and it will give you different categories to choose from now here is a suggestion that we'll share with you our research shows that the quiz applications works best in the entertainment category now you still have the options to choose any category you want but we highly suggest for you to stick with the entertainment category for your quiz applications okay moving along then we can select the app ID so remember our app was number four we choose that and we click on preview so we can get a preview then you fill out your app name which of course we give you a sample here my awesome app title then you fill out your namespace which is my awesome app and again there's no separation here then you fill out your subtitles which again we give you an example here which says check out my app and you fill out your caption which of course we give you a demonstration here which says it's free then you have your description and you put your description here and of course we show you a sample of a description then of course you have your Twitter and your Pinterest which means your software will automatically populate this in your Pinterest and Twitter account and also within your Facebook timeline and newsfeed then when all this is in alignment and all this is filled out to your likings you click on the run button now the run button creates the application by installing the application in your Facebook account once that happens the application is created and this is the first step you want to accomplish okay from this reference point forward are the steps and stages that you take after the application was created and uploaded within your Facebook account now if you look closely you can see that there is one nav bar but 
if you look at this little green button here when you click on this little green button a second nav bar is going to appear and that nav bar represents the navigation for the Facebook quiz application so I'm just going to go ahead and click on this little green button right now and there you can see you can see another nav bar opens up that represents the options to create your Facebook quiz application so if we look closely we have the dashboard we have create question and we have manage quiz images okay so as we move forward we can see we have name we have make default quiz we have view questions and we have actions and underneath that we have nothing because we have been created and or added a new quiz now in order to do that we need to hover where it says add new quiz and we click on that and that brings us to the page where we create the quiz now the first component is quiz name this is where you title your quiz and for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna title it as that now the second component is iframe URL now the word iframe just know in the future we're gonna change that into redirection URL so it can read redirection URL now in this component is where you put in your redirection URL so it can redirect your potential customers to an affiliate page a sales page a landing page and etc so for example if I come back to the Facebook account here this application as your potential customers go through this process and they fill in these questions when they get done filling these questions the application will automatically redirect them to affiliate page to a squeeze page or a sales page whatever you want that to be on your end so coming back to the software so that's this component here which is a very powerful component to have now the third component is your email now this area here is the place in which you fill out an email where you feel comfortable to have in order to stay in contact with your potential customers now when all of these three are done you click on the submit button and after the submit button you come back and you click on dashboard then after clicking on dashboard you will see that we have our name we have our make default quiz and view question and action as I read earlier now underneath that you see Rihanna quiz you see make default quiz you see view question and now you see a pencil and of course this process was created after we filled in the components in add new quiz and now this appears so before we go and fill in the questions the next step we have to do is manage quiz image so you want to click on the third tab here then it brings us to this page which is the add quiz images now just know in advance that our software already supplies three background images but if it just so happens that you want to upload your own images you can do so by clicking here and choosing it from your computer and just know that it's 760 pixels by 800 pixels also to choose your header image you can choose that in this component here where it says header image and you can choose that within your computer and we also have a header script code so if you click on this little circle here this opens up here and this allows you to copy and paste an HTML code of your header image code and just know in that header image you can also put a link where a person can click on the header image and it can also redirect them to another page and that header Im image script is 728 pixels by 90 pixels so just be mindful about that on your part and for demonstration purpose I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the three background images that our software provides so let's say you already uploaded your images and you want to access our background images as well to do that what you do is you click on dashboard and you come over here on this action you will see a pencil click on the pencil and that will take you to this page where you see we have the quiz name which is Rihanna quiz and we have the redirect URL and this is our redirect link and then here background images if you click on this button you can see that we have one two and three I'm just gonna go back to my Facebook account and you can see this background here where it says quiz if I go back to the software and I choose the second image and I click submit and I come back to this and click refresh on my Facebook account you will see that the background images changes to the question marks 
if I go back to the software and I click on the third image and click submit and come back to my Facebook account and click refresh and you can see a different background image appear so it's going back to the software and put that back into the first one the quiz click submit come back click refresh and the background appears again pretty cool so we're going back to the software so those are the three selections you have then of course this is the header image that you will upload and the email that we put in before now as that process is done now we fill in the questions so what we do is we come up here and where it says create questions and we click on that tab and that brings us into this page now here's what we do we select the quiz now if we come back to the dashboard we see that we have one quiz and if we come back to create question the question that we create with followed by the answers we want to work with that one quiz so we click on that one which tells the software that we are working from this quiz now yes it's possible that you can create more quizzes and you would do that by going through this procedure again add new quiz and when you add a new quiz a new one will drop down and or appear and so on and so on so to stay within the sequence of this creation let's go back to create questions and we'll work with the first quiz and just know that the more quiz you create when you open this the more quizzes you will have to select from here but since we only have one we're just going to work with this one so the first one is question so what you want to do is that you want to type in a question and whatever question you fill out here is going to propagate here so for example what was Rihanna's first hit well if we go back to the software we type that in here what was Rihanna's first hit now of course we don't have to add the question mark as you see here this little question mark you don't need to add that because the software will automatically add that in for you so just be aware of that now after you type in the question then you type in the answer choice one choice two choice three choice four and so on and if we look at the application this is the answers don't stop the music SOS we found love pwn the replay and so that will propagate here in the app itself then we come back to the software and then we choose which is the right answer see here where it says set this as answer so since we know her first hit was Pong the replay let's say that was choice number three I would click on this little circle to tell the software that this is the right answer then of course I will upload an image by 200 by 200 which preferably would be smart to post an image that is relevant to your questions and answers which in this case is Rihanna then you click submit then after clicking submit you click on dashboard and then that shows up into the questions now I already have populated some examples so I'm going to show you how that looks so here is the question that we were just looking at what was Rihanna's first hit if we go back to my Facebook account what was Rihanna's first hit going back to the software if I click on edit you can see that these were the questions and answers so I select the quiz which is Rihanna quiz which is what we created in the dashboard and then the quiz question what was Rihanna's first hit as you can see there's no question mark there but yet the software automatically puts the question mark in the Facebook account and or application itself come back to the software and then I choose one pong the replay choose two SOS choice three don't stop the music choice four we found love then of course since it's choice since it's number one I choose set this as answer and I click on that circle which tells the software that choice one pawn the replay is the right answer to choose from and if I go back to dashboard and I go back to view questions and then if we look here are the other questions who did Rihanna use to date so to give you an example I'm going to click on edit on that one and of course I'm working with Rihanna quiz question name who did Rihanna use to date choice one Jay-Z choice two Eminem choice three whoever that is choice four Chris Brown and of course we all know is Chris Brown and so I set that one as the answer set this as answer and I choose that and I upload an image of Rihanna 200 by 200 click submit and that will propagate into the software 
and so on and so on and that goes for all the other ones too which were, which is what is Rihanna's birth name and in what country was Rihanna born and raised and you want to continue doing that over and over again now for different quizzes for different niches you have to go through the same process again you have to create an application add a new quiz create a new quiz from scratch add a redirect URL email submit and that will create another name to choose from then you will click action on that and go through the same procedure as I just demonstrated you with the first one and then your quiz application has been created now to give you a demonstration of how that works I'm gonna go back to my Facebook account and I'm gonna show you let's say what was Rihanna's first hit let's say they click on pwn and replay the application will automatically show the progression question number two in what country was Rihanna born and raised let's say Barbados application propagates and shows the progression what is Rihanna's birth name and they have four to choose from I'm gonna say Robin Rihanna Fenty which is the second one choose that one and you can see the application and the software is doing this automatically who did Rihanna use to date and they have four to choose from and let's choose Chris Brown and that's the final one and then you can see that the software automatically redirects them to an affiliate page which of course is Amazon and once they click on this and make a purchase yes you guessed it you get a commission this is how powerful the software is but not only that after your potential customer goes through the process of answering all those questions the software automatically sends them an email letting them know what were their right answers and what were their wrong answers and I'll give you a demonstration of how that looks and here we are in my email area and you can see that this software automatically sends an email out to the potential customer in this way and it tells them which answers they got that were correct and which answers that they got were incorrect and of course the questions in red are what they got wrong and all this is being done for you automatically by the software and that concludes this video tutorial create as much quiz applications as you can and enjoy thank you for listening in and have a great day okay my friends I have taken you through a live demo of all that I've shown you so far at any stage pause the video go over what I've shown you within the tutorial video and then try to replicate what you've seen for yourself so you can practice because as you get good the use of the software becomes that much more easier for you so once again thank you for watching and enjoy